Well, good morning. I'm talking about heat. That's my third winter in the van, and it's been a learning experience. The first thing I would suggest, which this is the first year I did, I bought a sleeping bag. What a difference. I've been using heated blankets, heating pads, regular blankets. And uh, this one sleeping bag, which goes to minus 20 degrees, has made a huge difference. And I wished I'd been smart about it before. So I will tell you, get a, get a sleeping bag. And get one with, you know, minus 20 degrees, minus 30 degrees, something like that. And um, it's going to make a difference in your life. But one of my subscribers suggested something to me. And I did not think about it. And I went to um, Tractor Supply and I found one. So let me show you what I found and what is amazingly working well. Looks looks like a TV, doesn't it? Guess what this is? This is a chicken coop heater brooder. So in other words, it's a heater and it's also a, a brooder. So it has two different settings on it. One is to heat and it gets pretty hot. So you want to set it away from everything. And it is a, so this radiant heat for a chicken coop is very versatile. It's 12 inches wide and 20 inches long. And you see these legs? Well, each corner has a hole. And it will go horizontal. So we take these legs off. And, well, maybe we'll take them off. Maybe we won't. Yeah. Okay. Again, we're, fi we're fighting these legs. They come off. They do, really. Okay. Whew. I worked too hard for that. Okay. So then... I can put one on there. Like that. The other one here. Well, maybe I can get it on. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so now I have it horizontal. And no, I, I'll remove this board. Um, I now have it horizontal. It also has a second set of legs. And each one of these corners has a hole in it. And um, they're square legs. And they sit square. And they will sit like this. And I'm sorry, I didn't bring them with me. But, very versatile machine. You can also hang this up if you wanted to. You could hang it from chains. You can put it on the wall. You can do a lot of things with this. It's a very versatile heater of its own kind. Just thought I'd give you that information as well. And like I said, it's a half inch thin. Looks like a TV screen. But it's not. Surprise. It uses radiant heat. So it does get very hot. I'm not sure why this is so hot. Now this one is a producer's pride. There are many. This was under $60. But there are cheaper ones on Amazon. And I'm going to... Um, Leave in the description. Well, now it finally settled in. This uses radiant heat. The surface gets very hot. It's probably half an inch wide. And it sits on these. It also has different um, legs. So you have two options. I like standing it right on my cooking surface during the night. I put it away during the day once it's cooled off. Uh, I do not use it all night long. It uses 200 watts on the heater and 40 watts on the brooder. The brooder is not enough heat to make your van comfortable, but 
the heater is and it doesn't use 200 watts all the time it will turn like everything else itself off and on it works fairly well and probably better and less wattage than anything else I've tried so I'm quite pleased it keeps it comfortable in here I turn it on about 10 and then I will wake up in the night and turn it off and then in the morning I just turn the van on but this is really thank you to my subscriber I can't remember who who gave this to me but works really well this is a 250 watt electric heater this was the first one I bought when I moved into my van it was approximately $20 I'm going to show you the name so this is the name of it and if you want I can put a um, link to it it lasts I have a 2000 watt and that's one of the reasons I got well I have a thousand watt and 2000 watt and I just wanted to use it early in the morning just to heat up my um, fan so it wasn't too cold I am in a very um, non-cold area in other words in California and most it gets down to the teens I'm not much colder than that I rarely have it going below zero so this could work for you depending on the solar power station you have or if you even have electricity so this is one option here is another option this is your third option this is an oil filled heater it's very small as you can see it's very small it takes 700 watts so let me tell you how it runs itself this particular unit when I used it it took 12 minutes for heat it to heat up to the highest temperature and it doesn't really tell us what it is but you have a choice it's very simple it's oil inside it heats up and then it turns itself off so it turned itself off for seven minutes then it turned itself back on for three minutes then it turned off for four minutes then it turned back on for three minutes in other words every hour you're using 24 percent of your 2000 or 1000 whatever you um wattage is approximately 500 watts an hour maybe that makes a better sense so four hours it would work on a 2000 two hours it would work on a 1000 i'm just giving you these facts so you can do your own homework figuring out what it is that you wanted so this is a, an electric throw it is uh i got it really cheaply it does heat up but it's um it doesn't ever get hot it's warm and it's warm enough for a cold night not for a freezing night a cold night and this particular throw uses 130 watts I am no there are better ones than this one I only paid twenty dollars for this one the first year I started um, so you can get a better product I wouldn't suggest this is just your main heat but if you just want to get a little warm this would work this throw uses 130 watts this is my uh, heating pad which I use all the time if I'm making and stuff like that um, it uses 180 watts it does serve itself on and off you can select the heating on it as well as the throw bank by the way and uh, you can tell it to be on for two hours or to stay on it does turn itself off when it reaches a certain temperature and then turns back on. I've really never tested, but it works. And my first winter I had this in the throw blanket. So um, I was very content, except when I got up out of bed. That's a whole different ball game. Now, this is my candle heat. I have used candle heat since I first started Van Life three years ago. And I do have a clay pot that could cover this, but this works much better. And this you can purchase at any Walmart. It's for silverware, for draining silverware. I put it on top of the candle after I've lit it. And then it protects the candle. And it protects me from 
having set a fire, you know, if I'm in the middle of the night and it's sitting here and I throw my covers. So it's safer this way than just an open candle. Also for animals, it's safer this way. Now, this ran about six dollars and this candle ran about five. This candle will last me, as you can see the size of it, this is 18 ounce, will last me five days. That's a dollar a day. Just so you know, it's pretty efficient. It, it has a little warmth to it, but it keeps off the chill as you're getting ready for bed. I do not have my Mr. Buddy here, the small one. I had two. The first winter, it worked okay, but it was very expensive. I went through like uh, two tanks to two and a half tanks for 24 hours. That's quite expensive. It was $4 a tank, which made it about almost $10 a day. And um, I just couldn't use it for 24 hours. So when it was super cold, I would only turn it on. And I did a lot about my clothing. Oh boy, that stove is dirty. But this is, I ran it all night last night, the stove. And um, this one, I, I have butane in it right now. I do have the connections. I put this on it, and then I'll light it up. And that keeps it safe from any animals getting near it or if I uh, throw the covers. I, I really don't like to use it that much, but it heats up this fan in the morning really fast. So I'll probably use it 30 minutes to an hour in the morning just to get the cold out of the van. Um, again, this is that silverware. You can also buy a clay pot. This is $6. You can buy a clay pot. I use this for silverware in the summer and for my stove pipe in the winter to keep warm. This is quite expensive. I use two and a half butane, cans of butane a day. It's almost up to nine, nine to ten dollars a day for the butane. I have decided that what I'm going to do is, and I've bought the connection and I have a small tank, I'm going to test butane. Not butane, I apologize. Propane. I'm going to see if propane is cheaper. The problem is your upfront of costs are up there and you're supposed to keep your propane outside. I do have a small tank, two and a half gallon tank, that cost me $90, and I will show you that. And I have connections which cost $20. So I am going to test it outside and not in my van. I'm not particularly fond of propane. So that will be another test that I will show you another time. But that is another, the late eighth option of heating up your van just thought I would talk about all these options because there are so many and so many people talk about how they heat up their van but after three years honestly this is the best one to be honest with you Mr. Buddy was great but the Mr. Buddies broke down I, I had to buy a new one after the first year they're not cheap it lasted three times I could light it in three times way too expensive for me this one, I'm hoping if I connect it to propane, it will be a lot cheaper. So we'll see. I will do another review of just this for heating with propane. And I'll post it in a couple of weeks. Thank you for very much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and view. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this and this gave you some information. I, I really would not recommend uh, the but, Buddy Heater. It, they are so touchy. And one little filter or anything, it'll stop the whole thing. If you know how to repair them and you want to be bothered constantly with trying to make it work, then go for it. Otherwise, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. you got to know what you're doing, and it's very, very touchy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Camo.